Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord who God's life. All right, so with the Lord's Supper, we're going to fall back on the Lord's Word. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. The Lord's Supper is given for a purpose, the forgiveness of sins. And if it's given to forgive sins, it's also only given to sinners. If it's for us, sinners, it can't depend on us, sinners. And that's a gift. Recognize just how much can be ruined by sinners. And then if it can't depend on sinners, how much more certainty there is in it. Luther in the large catechism writes, for here we conclude and say, even though a knave takes or distributes the sacrament, he receives the true sacrament, that is, the true body and blood of Christ, just as truly as he who receives or administers it in the most worthy manner. For it is not founded upon the holiness of men, but upon the word of God. This is a gift, because see, the more the Lord's Supper depends on you, the less you can depend on it. If the Lord's Supper is only for the people without sin, then it doesn't do much to forgive sins. And if the Lord's Supper depends on you taking it the right way, well, that means that when you are the most desperate for it, it will do you the least good. If you actually happen to be a sinner, though, well, there's a meal for you now. It's sort of the whole point. Take, eat, take, drink. This is for you, for the forgiveness of all your sins. This is not just a place to prove that you remember or prove that you really care or prove that you really love God or prove that you are really holy. It is to take all of the sin that manifests itself as apathy towards God's gifts, as hatred of God and neighbor, and know that all of these things that exist in my heart cannot undo the gift that he places before my eyes on that altar that he gives for me to eat and drink for the forgiveness of my sins, for the forgiveness of yours. The gift is for everything that's wrong, to forgive everything that's wrong, so that the worthiness of the Lord's Supper doesn't find itself measured in how much I'm a sinner. It's supposed to forgive my sins. And also, those people that you're kneeling by that you don't really like, the pastor who is stewarding God's gifts to the people that are kneeling beside you that you don't really like. God's mercy and forgiveness are given for them too. God's promises don't depend on them somehow being worthy of your expectations of what you think they should be either. The Lord's Supper is given for the forgiveness of sins, which means when you kneel on either side of a sinner, you actually get to look at them in a brand new light afterwards. These are the people that Jesus just forgave. That pastor, though he gives you the Lord's Supper, he gives you the Lord's promises. Not something based on his heart or his actions, but on God's promise. If you actually want to talk about how sinners get united, again, the more it depends on us to figure this thing out, the less we can depend on it actually working. But God gives us his Lord's Supper, that we would depend on it because it doesn't depend on us. Take and drink. This is the forgiveness of your sins. This is the blood of Jesus for you.